Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek coming at you from Waco, Texas. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Sunglasses at Night by Corey Hart. Let's take a listen. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. Guys, remember that song? Great song. Great video. I remember that video more than anything, I think. Remember MTV and music video? Just kind of, you know, we don't, don't have it anymore. But it used to be all we used to watch. Remember, they were so weird sometimes, <laughs> some of the, the videos. But anyway, um, we're going to learn that today, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome to webpianoteacher.com, our online piano community where we gather together to learn, play, and share the music that we love creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there who are trying to learn piano online. You can do it if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice. That's what I try to help you do in every lesson. Let's get to it. <clears throat> so I messed up a little bit when I played the intro, but heh, we all mess up, right? So uh, I'm going to show you this beginning part, how to make this work. Um, on piano, I'm using kind of a, a keyboard sound. It's not exactly what you know they use in the in the recording, but it kind of works for it. I'm going to switch to piano sound in a minute because that's going to be better for teaching it. But I'm going to show you a way to play that's going to make it work on piano. I think you're going to be really satisfied with that. And this is our part one lesson that we do for free on YouTube and Facebook. And all the lessons, though, are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. If you are a member, you can download the sheets, which is very helpful. But let's get to the lesson. <coughs> We, uh, I'm going to switch to piano, like I said, so we are on the piano sound. We do have a Kawaii MP11SC in the studio, and if you want to know that bank sound I was using was uh, A4, just kind of an electric bell sound, which works for a lot of things. Um, so we start out with this. What's happening in the recording is they're using the stereo effect to go womp, 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 womp. It sounds like there's just really uh, one note that's being played, but it's going left, right on the channels. If you have headphones on, you can really hear that womp, 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 womp. But and essentially what we're hearing is two notes if you count the echo. So I have one F, but I have another small F that's, that's showing you the echo. Um, if you're a very beginner, you know, I can, you can just do this. That'll work, but then if you're more advanced, I'm going to show you how to do this. Which adds an octave and kind of still satisfies that echo sound. Okay, I'm going to show you both ways. So for you beginners, let's do it this way. Let's play an F. And let's not worry about that little F yet. Let's just play the one F. Left hand's on a B-flat octave down here. I know the song starts out like this. You can do that. I just like to go ahead and put the bass in there, even though it comes in later. But it's a, a B-flat on the bass. Two, one F, and then D-flat. I'm going to use my fourth finger. C with my third finger and B-flat with my second finger. So F, D-flat, C, B-flat. Then do that again. What's going to happen on that next measure kind of cuts off. I like to zoom in to see everything really big on these part ones, but G natural and the rest of it's the same. Okay, so we have dun, 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 G, G. Now, after you get that down and you can play that, then you can try adding that second F. So at the beginning of the video, I said, you know, if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice. You're picking the right lessons if you are to the stage where you can do this. If you are uh, maybe a late beginner stage, you can do this. Um, definitely intermediate can play this. Um, knowing how to practice is what I show you in each lesson. How to do this, how to work on this to actually be able to play it. Because maybe you have the skill, but you need to know how to work on things. It's not just simply trying to play it. It's uh, a certain progress, a certain uh, progression. Um, and so, single notes first, G natural, duh, it's the same thing, we could scroll over and see it, okay? Now we add that second note. Try to play the first one in each group a little louder, F, D flat, we have the echo sound. Because if you just do this, 
That doesn't sound like it, but if you go... first one a little heavier and the second one lighter, then you get a, that echo sound, okay? <clears throat> now, here's the more advanced way, which I like, because then we fill it out a little bit because we're not using a, <clears throat> a synthesizer sound when you have an acoustic piano that helps to do an octave sometimes. So I'm going to play an octave on that first F, <clears throat> and then that second uh, little F will just be my thumb. There we go, see that? thumb note all by itself is not very loud. It's just dun, dun. Now I go up to a D flat octave, and then the thumb, C, D flat. So that I have this. But the way to practice it, okay, is like this. Wait a little bit. Play the next one. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Go to the next measure. And then play it. Back to my bank sound. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. Whatever the words are. Real easy to rush in that one. <laughs> All right, so um, those kind of couple of ways to play it. If you're at the beginner level, I would stay at that beginner way of playing it. And then if you get it really good and you want to try the more advanced way, go for it. Uh, but then, you know, it, it's, I showed it two ways so that uh, where whatever skill level you're on, you can still play this song and enjoy it. Hope you guys had fun with this part one lesson. See you on webpianoteacher.com. Talk to you later.